Hello and welcome to the Bike Century. My name's Ben and today we're looking at these brand new 2021 Lexmoto LXRs. We've got two bikes here. The one on the left is the LXR SE and the one on the right is a standard LXR. And I'm mainly going to be focusing on the SE to show you where your extra money is going should you decide to go for that over the standard LXR. And both are exceptional 125s. Got good power to weight ratio from a single cylinder engine. They're really, really great. You can ride them on a CBT, and of course, you know, you need to have L plates displayed, but a fantastic bit of kit. It's a full size proper bike because it's based on the 350 that uh, Lexmoto also produce. It's a fantastic little bike for the money. So let's start by looking at the front end. So on the SE, you'll notice straight away that we've got upside down fork. So that gives you some adjustment and arguably better handling as well. Both bikes have got four pot radially mounted brakes and wavy discs, which is a really, really nice touch. Both bikes also come with a, uh, a set of braided hoses as well. So consistent brake and feel when the, uh, the temperatures are up um, and a bit of better bike for a bit more pressure from the, uh, the brake cylinder as well. So that's something that you don't get on the Japanese rivals, which I really, really like. At the front end, you've got these halo headlights with the, um, I don't know what you call them, like an LED strip light that goes above them. So I'm just going to turn the ignition on so you can see what that looks like. So there you go, there's that strip light. Almost looks like the Mercedes-Benz cars, but it looks really, really nice. Um, it's a really cool bit of kit, something that you don't get on the Japanese as well. So the standard specification of these is very, very good. So as well as the radial brakes, you get the color scheme. So the SE color scheme is different than the standard. It's available in two colorways. This is the red version, which we've got in stock at the moment. But if you want, we can order you an alternative colorway as well. Um, the red uh, is a, a flat finish. And then obviously you've got a gloss black as well. Looks really, really cool. Next thing is the swing arm. So the swing arm on this bike is a, uh, an aluminium swing arm. And on the standard, it's black. Different rear suspension, again, all aimed at handling. Standard exhaust on these is quite quiet. If you're interested in an aftermarket exhaust, you want to purchase it with a bike, we do offer some discount and we do offer free fitting as well. So if that's something that you're interested in, please let me know. What else? These bikes have got the same engine, obviously. They've both got the dual braking system. You can see the setup for it in there. Um, one of the main, the biggest differences for me, one of the, the major selling points of the, uh, the SE over the standard is the dash. So I'm going to come around the back and show you the TFT full colour dash that you get on the SE. So how about that? That is absolutely awesome. For the price point of this bike, it's brilliant. So you've got battery voltage, temperature, fuel gauge, you've even got a gear indicator there as well. That's really, really cool. The standard gauges on the, um, the standard model, obviously you get an analog and you get a partially digital. So still very, very cool, but uh, maybe not just as up to date as the, uh, the SE. These are the standard keys, you get two of them. As you can see, it's like a, a almost like a flick, a flick key. That's exactly what it is, it's a flick key. You get two of them just a standard traditional key and that does everything. So it does the rear seat, it does the fuel and everything like that. Other than that, the two bikes are very, very similar. There's very little to split them. So you get the TFT dash, adjustable suspension, different swing arm. Um, you both, you're gonna get the, um, the dual braking system with both bikes, both on the same tires and everything like that. But, um, but yeah, perhaps the SE is just that little bit more up to date with its more modern counterparts from, you know, Yamaha, Suzuki, and Kawasaki. Fantastic bikes, obviously comes with a manufacturer's warranty as well. Um, obviously the price on the road uh, doesn't include the first registration fee and road tax. So um, please don't forget to ask us about that. We have got both the SE and the standard in stock. So if you want to come and have a look, feel free to do so. There is a separate video on the standard LXR as well, if you want to have a look at that. But uh, yeah, we offer part exchange, we offer finance, and we offer delivery as well. So if those are things that you're interested in or you've got any questions about the bikes at all, please feel free to get in touch. Um, either via WhatsApp, Facebook, we've got live chat on our website and on Auto Trader, or of course you can pop into the showroom and have a look. That's it for me. Thank you very much for watching and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Take care.